So, my next interview is Julie from Cold Tofu. Hi. Uh, Julie, what is your what is your last name? Lee. Lee. L E E. L E E. Are you Korean? I Japanese? Am Korean. Oh, okay. Cool. So, um, <laughs> yeah. don't, don't I look Korean? I don't know. Almost everyone can guess first try. You're Korean. Like, yep, that I I am. What what? It, how, how can you um, tell if someone is? I'm shaking because. This is my first time holding a selfie stick for so long. Um, <laughs> oh, your arm must be so tired. <laughs> next time, I'm going to get a tripod next time. <laughs> yeah. But uh, how can you tell if someone is Korean? Like, what, what, what features can you uh, I mean, like, make I, someone Korean? I feel like I could say a bunch of things, but it would sound really racist if I started going into the facial shapes and stuff. But I think there are certain features where you can just kind of tell that a... I mean, there are just certain hints or... You know. Do I look Korean? No. How do I look? Chinese. Oh, but okay. I could be wrong. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, no you're right. You're right. <laughs> you're right. Remember there was that website, alllooksame.com? I scored pretty high, but alllooksame.com, all all where same. they show you a bunch of Asian faces and you have to guess what ethnicity they are. Mm -hmm. um, I scored not super high. I thought I would score higher, but I got maybe like, I was like two thirds solid and a third of them I got wrong. Oh, wow. So there are many variables. It's not just the look. You know, my sister. Uh, everybody thinks she's Korean. Oh really? I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the like a little bit lighter complexion. Lighter complexion. D does she wear a lot of makeup? Mm, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> like like a, a round face. Oval. Oval. Yeah, oval. And then, uh, yeah, oval. But every every time every time she walks around, everyone's like, "Oh, are you Korean?" But she's really Chinese. I'll show you a picture later. Okay. <laughs> well, I want to show them a picture too. Yeah, yeah. I can see what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> In the replayers, when I edit it into um, my other social it's media. It's live. Yes. <laughs> okay, yes, this is live actually. Okay, so Julie, yes. um, tell me about cold tofu. Cold is tofu. it just cold tofu or cold tofu improv? Uh, it is cold tofu, but we go by cold tofu improv because we get confused with the food. The Japanese appetizer, Hiyayako, so we say cold tofu improv to distinguish ourselves from that. Um, but we've been around since 1981, so 34 years. I just became artistic director a year and a half ago. Before that, it was Helen Ota, and she uh, had the throne for 19 years. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's a very, Big very shoes to fill, huh? Huge shoes to fill. I mean, huge. I mean, she actually does have small feet, but the shoes are huge. Um, so yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So we do improv some sketch comedy. So for this show, for Nisei Week, we're going to do sketch comedy, which we actually haven't done um, officially since 2009, I want to say. So it's been a while since we've done sketch comedy with original sketches. Oh, okay. So we've written uh, sketches specifically for this event. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Wow. And and tell me more about what Kofu, cold tofu mm -hmm. is about, you know, how many performances a year and oh, like yeah, how we can check you out. So and... we have a website, coldtofu.com. Uh, we have monthly performances in Little Tokyo. We're looking to have other performances just around the area, like in North Hollywood. We have a special show com coming up, Echoes... Under Sunset? Thank you. I just forget <laughs> if it's over or under, but yes, Echoes <laughs> Under Sunset on October 23rd. And our next um, main stage show in Little Tokyo at the St. Francis Xavier Chapel is on October 17th. Mm -hmm. uh, this year is actually the year, I don't know if there are any sci-fi geeks out there, but October 21st, 2015 is when Doc sends Marty, that's when, that, that's where he sends Marty to save his family because his kids get into trouble. Uh -huh. I don't know if you know the picture. Uh, Not too I've well. Okay. a little bit, uh, like a couple of the movies. movies. Okay. <laughs> so with all okay. the clock. <laughs> so our show is on October 17th, so we're going to do a sci-fi inspired okay. improv show. So we okay. came up with some brand new formats and games. We're excited to present that. And that's uh, October 17th, 7.30. More information is on coldtofu.com. And you can get, also get tickets online at Brown Paper Tickets. Yes. And another point I wanted to mention, too, is cold tofu is actually um, very supportive and nurturing of the Asian American community, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So tell us about how that came about. So cold tofu was started by four women, which is kind of unheard of in improv, especially in the 80s. Uh, four w women of color. Three were JA. 
And so they were very, Japanese American. Japanese oh. American, yes. Yeah. So th they had a lot of close ties with the JA community, mm -hmm. uh, trying to get Asians out there in the 80s, and which is still true today. There aren't a lot of Asian faces in the media or in TV. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's why we have Amy Liu present. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we need more stuff like like what she's doing. Um, of course, now there's fresh off the boat and all these. Uh, yeah, Dr. Ken, Dr. Ken, so yeah. it's it's changing and. Um, Back in the 80s, there were no opportunities for Asian Americans to yeah. perform, yeah. and so Cold Tofu was started, and since then, um, it's really to, to foster that talent and mm -hmm. encourage people to pursue their dreams, mm -hmm. and to show um, a, a multi-ethnic you know, flavor to mm -hmm. comedy, mm -hmm. to comedy. Um, yeah, that's basically yeah. what we do, showing uh, different images of Asian Americans. Mm -hmm. Versus just the the nerd or the you know those tropes mathematicians exactly yeah scientists so we want to vary it up so that we are I suck at math that we have personalities and different characters <laughs> as well so we're doing that awesome awesome that out there so for someone that um, for aspiring people uh, Asian Americans or even um, people out there that want to get into improv and uh -huh. sketch comedy yeah what are, what's some advice that you can give. Okay, so I'm actually really interested in, in that too. So, okay, so training <laughs> training is super important. Um, even if you have natural skill, uh, a natural talent, which is great, that will take you once you have the techniques and skill, which you learn in a class. So I would Google, look for local classes, okay. and just train. Train. Classes are also a place where you can network and meet other people, mm -hmm. like minded people, mm -hmm. who want to do what you're doing. Mm -hmm. or you want to do what they're doing, you know what I mean? So yeah. you, you get to exchange ideas and be, become uh, basically network in these classes and yeah. train, train. At, for both improv and sketch? Yeah, yeah, for okay. sketch you'd probably want to do some um, training in writing as well. Okay, to um, so write your scripts and stuff for sketch? Yeah, okay. a lot of times uh, sketches come from improv. Oh, okay, got it. So, yeah. Okay, got it. Um, and then also for stand-up, you would also recommend classes? You know, they, they do have stand-up classes, so I don't do stand-up because I think that's very scary and brave because you're up there by yourself. <laughs> Whereas if you do improv, I mean, if, if it goes bad, you can blame your fellow castmates. <laughs> <laughs> do you do, does cold, cold Tofu do stand-up stuff? No, we only do stand-up. Oh, we just we do mainly improv and, and sketch, yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Um, a couple of our members do do stand-up, um, and I bow down to them. They are hilarious and amazing. Um, but for stand-up, they also offer classes for stand-up. There are so many things, variables that you that you don't think about as a performer. Um, we had a stand-up comedian actually teach one of our workshops just mm -hmm. to kind of give us backstory or just to kind of guide us through. And uh, I remember he was saying, if if you hear an ice machine and it's like crinkling during your set, you want to address that because otherwise it becomes a distraction. But if you incorporate that into your set, then it's like it's part of the show and it's okay. So it's not as awkward, distracting. So it's just kind of taking distracting things and making them funny. Yeah, yeah, to, to, to make them not distracting anymore. You know, because like you trip and fall. Oh, that was part of the act. Yeah, please. you don't say oh, that didn't happen because you saw it. It happened. You saw that yeah. model. <laughs> oh, you know, there's this a video on YouTube where they string together like dozens of models falling, and it's awful. It's awful because they have to wear platforms. Yeah, they're super high. Mm -hmm. That humans should. I mean, humans can't walk on these things. They it's all just part of their act, you know. It's part of their performance. These skinny girls have <laughs> to walk on these things. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, tell us um, again how we can uh, learn more about Cold Tofu. Cold Tofu Improv. We also teach classes. We're in level two right now. Level three starts up in February. So you, if you're brand new, you want to just start out, we have a level one workshop in June. So you have some time. And what's to, the website? To get ready for that. Coltofu.com. Okay, got it. Yeah. And then we will look forward to your show cool. uh, tomorrow at 3.30 to 5. Here at Nice Week at the Artani Theater. And also October 17th, uh, St. Francis Xavier Chapel, 7.30 p.m. And October 23rd <laughs> at Echoes. Under the set. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Julie, Thank for you. joining us, Thanks. for joining Amy Lou Presents, and we really appreciate all of the, the stuff you're doing for the Asian American you. community and getting funny voices out there. Thank you. You too. <laughs> you too. This is this girl. <laughs> This is gonna go in my sizzle reel. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're gonna head back inside to the backstage room. I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay. Say bye. bye.